I think wreaths are a symbol of the season of Christmas, the traditional colors of red and green. When I see a wreath on a front door or a lamppost, I think Christmas spirit is in that house. I'm Kathy Lovett and I am the owner of Candle Tree Farm. And this is the farmhouse. The barn was painted white. There was a sheep shed. No Christmas trees. It was a dairy farm. We bought the farm in 85 and planted the first trees in 86. And not knowing what to plant, we read a book and it recommended Scotch pine and blue spruce and Norway spruce. When those scotch pines started maturing, we sure had a glut of scotch pine, so we got into the wreath business. We use a large ring that has clips on it, and you have a machine which has a clamp and a pedal on the bottom for your foot. I'm using Fraser, which is a short, soft needle. I am using white, which is a long, soft needle. Yeah, when I first walk in in the morning, I say, wow, smells like Christmas. This year, we expect to sell about 1,200 trees. I think our farm provides a family experience. A time to be together, a time to walk through the fields, a time to look at the beauty and to celebrate the season. My husband Bruce had a, a theatrical bent to him. From the very beginning we found this cutaway suit, a kind of Charles Dickens cutaway and I made him a big red bow tie. It kind of identified us as, oh, you're the Christmas tree farm where that guy wears the top hat. And as people were getting on, he would sing Christmas carols to them and see if he could get them to join him. Bruce passed away in 2013, so he's been gone for seven years. I remembered him as my Santa Claus because I would always see him around Christmas time. My son had already decided that he wanted to take over the Christmas tree farm and he and his wife Amanda and my grandchildren come every weekend and Ben has been cutting Christmas trees down since he was seven. <laughs> I used to come here every year and we used to always pick out trees and then get hot cocoa. New traditions really with our kids. <laughs> huh. They have made us a part of their lives and they have definitely become a part of our lives when they come back year after year with the next generation, the babies, the kids. This year, I think we need Christmas. We need the spirit of Christmas. We need the kindness and the love that the Christmas season represents. And we need to remember the reason for Christmas.